Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center and today we're talking about the Baby Lock Presto 2. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do stitch combinations and lettering and also how to save a stitch combination or a word that you've spelled out in your machine. Okay, to start out with, we have these decorative stitches, which you can access right here. And you can put in any combination of those stitches, or if you simply wanted, say, 03, there you go, you've got a whole line of those. But let's say I wanted just, instead of a whole line of hearts, I wanted just a single heart. There I go. Just do like that. And when, as long as you have that one little heart up there, that just means it's gonna be just one heart or one, one motif, like one alligator or one star, whatever, like that. Okay, so for lettering, you go down to here, and then in your quick start guide, quick reference guide, it's gonna show you in the back here where you have, and this is like second to the last page here, you have four different fonts. You have your block letters, your script letters, your outline letters, and then just for fun, you've got your Japanese alphabet right here. The block letters can only be done in uppercase, but that's okay, you can spell out lots of stuff that way. And the script letters are really pretty too. Now, each of the letters are made in such a way so that once you're done sewing that particular letter, you can go through and snip off the little joining stitches between the letters right there. And I spelled out love using a heart instead of an O. So you can combine decorative stitches and lettering. So right now, I don't have anything in my uh, memory. I'm gonna go to memory right there. I just have a straight stitch, that's all I have. So let's spell this out and put it into memory. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we start with, okay, let's go back to here. I'm gonna use block letters. Now A1 means we're in the block letters. If I want to do script letters, I just press this again, it says A2. A3 is the outline letters, A4 is the Japanese characters. Then just press it again, you get back to A1. Okay, another thing to keep in mind, if you press these really in rapid succession, it's going to give a little beep beep. So you hear that little beep beep? So give it a little bit of time to kind of settle into where it's going to be. There we go, like that, about that fast. Okay, so I'm gonna spell out L, heart V E. So L would be number 12 right here. That's the first one. I push OK. And then I'm going to go to decorative stitches 14 right there. And then I'm going to go back to lettering. V is 22. OK. And then E is 5. Okay, so it's waiting for me to do a second digit, so I'm gonna clear that, I'm gonna go 05. There, it gave me that. Okay, so if it ever gives you, just remember this, if it's waiting for that second digit, that means you need to put two digit, digits. Even if it's a single digit number, put the zero first. Okay, so we've got all that. Now, let's stitch that out. So to start with, I'm gonna recommend that if you're sewing on like quilting cotton, something fairly, um, well, yeah, not really stiff, you need to use a stabilizer. If you don't use a stabilizer, you could end up with something like this where you've got uh, puckers happening. And I just did this out with a zigzag. Here is without stabilizer. And here is width. See how much nice and s nicer and smoother that is. So you want to use a stabilizer, or of course you can use uh, denim or, or canvas, something thicker like that. Then you don't need to use a stabilizer. By the way, we do carry the stabilizer here. This is a tearaway stabilizer. You can also use a cutaway, or even a rinse away stabilizer. But I'm going to use this good tearaway stabilizer. Now it's calling for foot in. So I'm gonna take foot J off of here, find my foot in. The difference between the two 
is foot J is flat right there. Foot N has a channel for all that thick thread that you're gonna be putting into your fabric by doing lettering and decorating stitches. You wanna have that channel there so it can flow right through. And of course you can use uh, shiny decorative threads, that's fine. I'm gonna just use regular sewing thread here. Okay, that should be all ready to go. Now, notice on the screen here, when it's done sewing, this just automatically popped up. Uh, when it's done doing my lettering, it's going to uh, cut, uh, do a locking stitch and then cut the thread automatically. So let's just go for it here. Start out by hanging onto that little thread tail just for the first couple stitches. And here we go. And it tells you what stitch you're on. Now you're gonna be watching right here, but you can see what letter you're on of the four stitches. And there it is. And there's four total. We're in position four. There we go. I just spelled it out, just like we talked about. And then of course I can go in here and cut off my extra little threads. Embroidery scissors are really nice for getting nice and close to your fabric. Okay, so let's say we want to save this into our machine. We put push this right here and it saves it. Now that means I can get back into regular sewing and even turn off the machine, if I turn it back on or get back into memory, all I need to do is press this button here. And now we've got that stitch, the same one. Five just happened to be the, uh, the last letter I put in, which was E. Um, but it has our four stitches and it's in position number four. It doesn't really matter which one it is. You just start sewing and away you go. You can even do this since it has the tie off. Oops, clear that out and get back out of that. Here we go, push the wrong button. Um, you can, since it has the automatic tie off and cut, you can even do it without the foot control and just push your start stop button. It will stop automatically. I don't have my foot on the foot control. I'm just kind of watching here. And if it's a large thing, I would be kind of managing your fa my fabric just to make sure everything stays nice and doesn't pull or anything. There we go, at the end of E. Does the locking stitch, cuts the thread, and there we go. That was retrieved from memory. And you saw how I do that. did that with that little button right there. So stitch combinations and lettering. You can do um, like a little star and some leaves and have it look like a flower. You can do individual ones like a car and a uh, bumblebee if you want to do that or a, a combination of those. It's a lot of fun to play with this. I invite you to do that. Have fun with this machine. If this was a helpful video, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area down below. We have lots of other videos on our Montevilla YouTube channel, so stay tuned. And thanks for watching. Bye.